Excuse me while I read my tarot. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Kristen. Hi. <laughs> I'm oftentimes considered the mom. And uh, so we'll be popping in every once in a while here and there uh, for our little segment called Excuse Me While I Read My Tarot. So we uh, just wanted to do a little reading today on the card that I got earlier today for this uh, particular podcast recording this week that we're working on so it it really like meant a lot to me so I did want to read that one I usually just draw like one card for the day sometimes I go ahead and draw more than one just depending on how I'm feeling but usually in the morning when I start my day and I'm kind of getting my morning routine going I get my coffee and I take my vitamins and then I sit down in front of my day planner and I shuffle my cards and I pull a card and sometimes I just ask the spirit to let me know what it wants me to know today or if there's anything that's going to hold me back or things I need to look out for or what I can anticipate for the day you know I'd ask something different but usually I just ask the spirit to tell me what I should know for the day and we're actually uh, kind of just doing like a relaxing day together we've got our microphones set up and we have a little charcuterie going on over here and we have endless coffee flowing and sonic drinks out the wazoo and (laughs) so I just kind of wanted to know about today and I don't even think I particularly asked anything specific I just said spirit tell me about today and I actually I drew the fool and Most people might think that the Fool card is um, not a card you'd want to have because it doesn't sound very nice. Like, hey, you're a fool. But actually, the Fool card is quite a great card. It's a major arcana card. And I drew upright, which means like beginnings, innocence, spontaneity, free spirit. And really what I'm getting from the card is, you know, the Fool is setting off on a journey He's listening to his intuition and all he has with him is his most important things. What he needs to survive or get by. He's got his bag, which is his skills, his skill set, his knowledge, and what little supplies that he has. And really, in essence, that is us today with our podcast. We have bare minimum supplies. We're using rented microphones. Thank you so much, Red Door Studios, for the rented microphones and mic stands. And um, we are uh, using a new podcasting uh, recording tool that we barely know how to use. And it ran out of batteries and we had to go get a plug. But we're still chugging along. Some people would throw their hands up in defeat midway through and quit. Some people wouldn't even start. And I do have to say I'm very proud of us because we went ahead and used the skills that we have, our creative writing skills, our ability to just relax and talk and discuss things that we know about and share our knowledge. And we're not experienced podcasters, and this is all very new to us. So we do thank you all for you know, sticking with and listening to our podcast. And I really hope that you guys will enjoy our little mini segment on excuse me while I read my tarot. I felt like this card was very fitting. So a little bit more about the fool card. Um, If you're not really uh, knowledgeable about every single meaning of the card, which I mean, most of us aren't, we usually have something that we reference. I do recommend Biddy Tarot. She has an amazing website and her website is B as in boy, I D D Y tarot.com. And uh, we will put a link on there if you're interested in learning more about tarot or just looking at someone else's perspective on the cards. She has a great outline of each card and what the different meanings could possibly be. And the way that she explains the cards makes it very easy to learn and interpret the cards and 
really start to remember them without having to go back and look at them up in the book over and over and over again. Um, so I do definitely recommend that you check out her website. The Fool is, uh, again, he's a character that's walking off. It kind of looks like he's about to walk off a cliff. And you're like, dude, where are you going? He has on two different shoes that do not match. So he clearly looks like he jumped out of the bed and put the first shoes on his feet and went running. And that's really the embodiment of you have a good idea. Go with it. Do it. You do don't have to wait until the stars are perfectly aligned you don't have to wait until you have the best microphone the best computer the best set of paints the best journal the best anything guitar <laughs> yeah you yeah. can still be a rock star with that hundred dollar guitar that you got at the pawn shop you will not be the best guitar player if you don't practice. Or if you don't, stop and take the chance. And do it. Yep. Exactly. 